This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start your eyes. All right, 53 minutes into the hour. You know, we do this segment weekly. And it's for you guys, the citizens, as well as ourselves, to be informed on how to improve your health. Uh, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And with that said, we have the one, the only, Kelly Kincaid. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And Sway, congratulations on the Bay San Francisco Giants winning the World Series. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah <laughs> Thank blah, you, blah, hater. Blah. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I'm really excited because I'm bringing back, you know, I only bring you the top, the best of the best. Yes. So I'm bringing back one of our resident people. Mm -hmm. For first aid, I have Linda Tantawi. She's the CEO of Susan G. Coleman Foundation. You know, October, as we're ending this month, it is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Way. And, you know, if you've traveled, I love with Delta, all the people that are wearing pink. You see people wearing pink all month. And it's for National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. And so we wanted just to kind of end and recap on a little things about breast cancer one-on-one for people who have loved ones who are survivors who people may be dealing with this um good morning linda good morning hi linda how you doing hey sway how are you all right thank you playing you know just have voice a minute um (laughs) well sway i just want to give a little facts you know in the u.s alone about one in eight u.s women will develop evasive breast cancer over the course of their lifetime Mm -hmm. you know that's a big thing because i know I know people who are uh, breast cancer survivors, and, you know, early detection is the key, correct? Absolutely. People say with mammograms for women, um, over 40, when you get 40, get breast cancer or mammograms. But what about people with history of this? So women who have a history of breast cancer in their families should have a conversation with their physician Mm -hmm. because women with a history should be followed more closely. Mm -hmm. And with a history, we mean mother, grandmother, sister. So a a primary relative with a history of breast or ovarian cancer should be screened by a physician and then the physician will decide whether a mammogram or a clinical breast exam, because young women have very dense breasts and in it with a mammogram and a dense breast, it's like looking for a snowball in a in a snow in a snow field. Mm-hmm. The what they're looking for is white. The dense tissue is white. So they may actually recommend an MRI, an ultrasound. But first, of course, starting with a clinical breast exam. So don't be afraid to go to the doctor and discuss your history with your doctor. Right. And you know, we were talking about breast cancer. We always think that this is it always hits women more, but we do have low rates for men, correct? Yeah, there is a a small risk of men developing breast cancer. We were just talking outside actually about uh, Peter Chris. Yeah. From Kiss, what uh, is a breast cancer survivor? How, what percentage of men? You said 8 out of 10 women in in, in the US um uh, mm-hmm. What, what percentage of, um, how many men? I I'm, I'm a little I nervous think, right I now. Think, I, 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 I'm I sorry. think it's about a 1% risk yeah. factor. 1%. It's very, it's really a very small uh, risk. So how does a man detect if he has breast cancer? Often, oftentimes, uh, breast cancer in men is detected very late. So you, it's really about being aware of your body and knowing what's normal for mm-hmm. you. And that's what we talk about when we talk about breast self-awareness. Men, uh-huh. have, men have breasts, too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, can I, well, yeah, sure. At, at what age like, should women start checking for breast cancer? Women should, as soon as they start developing breasts, should be aware of their bodies. We don't, we don't recommend, and Coleman does not recommend, breast self-exams. There's no data to support that that um, reduces uh, death rates. Uh-huh. It's really know what's normal for you and be aware of changes in your body. I want to open up the phone lines to any of our citizens tuned in. If you have breast cancer or you know someone in your family that has breast cancer or a friend or a co-worker and, you, and, you, and that's you know impacting your life as well, call us 888-742-3345. And then I want to kind of dispel some of the myths surrounding breast cancer um, uh, up next. Sway in the morning, Shay 4-5. All right, uh, top of the hour to you, Sway in the morning, Shay 4-5. Kelly, we have an extremely important yes. and very special guest with us this morning. Yes, today we have Linda Tentawi here. She is the CEO of the Susan G. Komen chapter, Greater New York chapter here, and we're talking about breast cancer. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's very important because I know myself and other people who are listening know someone in their family or friends 
who have had a scare or, or who have been dealing with breast cancer. And it is scary. Sway, we were talking about just off air about myths. You know, I'm going to tell you a couple that I know. I heard if you have if you use deodorant, that might get you breast cancer. Is that true? Not true. Oh, okay. that, have you heard that, though, that people say using uh, deodorant could cause breast cancer? Have you heard that one? That is a, a urban myth. That's an sure. urban myth. Okay, so you, you smile and laugh at that. That's not true. Okay. Not true. All right, what else you got? I heard, well, I need this, and I was going to say it's just going to have to be, if you wear an underwire bra, you can get breast cancer. Not true. I, I needed that to not be true because I have to hold them up. I, mean, I, I think we all do. <laughs> okay. All right. But I do think we should talk a little bit about cell phones and the bra. Okay. Yeah. You know how women like to tuck their cell phone uh, into the bra? Yes. Not a good idea. Mm. Okay, why not? Because cell phones emit radiation. All right. Mm. And I was uh, at a breast cancer uh, symposium last week, mm -hmm. and a very prominent physician, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Just not a good idea. A lot of young ladies put their cell phones in their bra. Don't do it. You know, uh, you know, it, it, eliminate, it decreases your chance of catching, catching breast cancer when you don't do it. You know, you might as well just not do it. Yeah. Put it in your purse. Why take a risk? Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah. Uh, now, we have this. Now, we have this um, this form right here that shows you uh, different ways to check your breast to see if you have breast cancer. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is really not necessarily about checking your breast. Uh -huh. It's really, again, about knowing what's normal for you. And you're really looking for any changes in the skin, a lump, a hard knot, right. a dimpling, an itchy, scaly sore, anything that's not normal for you, call your physician and go have it checked. And with for women, what we're looking at is a, a, a pamphlet or a one sheet as far as how to examine your breast. And one of the things that I love about Susan G. Coleman, it's about self-awareness. And do you suggest girls who start their period to start doing the self-examine? Nation? No, we really don't talk about breast self-exams anymore. There's really no data to support their efficacy. Mm -hmm. That's why we, we really talk about knowing what's normal for you right. and the four steps to breast self-awareness, which is first one is know your risk, Okay. Uh, get screened, don't be afraid to go to the doctor. If you are over 40, you should have an annual mam mammogram and um, don't be afraid. If you're scheduling a hair appointment for, for the month, Schedule your mammogram once a year after the age of 40. You know, we often hear, and uh, often in the African-American community, well, I'm going to die anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. ignore this. And oftentimes, African-American women present much later. So they present right. stage three, stage four, oftentimes because they were, they were afraid. Mm -hmm. And stage three, stage four are much, much harder to cure. And when confined to the breast, there's a 99% cure rate. So because why would you wait? White women uh, have breast cancer more, but they get it detected early because they go to the doctor. Correct. 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 All right. Uh, we got Kwanzaa from Detroit on the line. Good morning, Kwanzaa. How are you? I'm all right. How y'all guys doing? Good doing morning. okay, man. Uh, you, you know someone that's, uh, that has breast cancer? Yeah, my, my son's mother, we haven't been together in 14 years, but I never really paid attention to the whole breast cancer awareness thing until it hit home with her. She was diagnosed her early. She had stage one breast cancer, and she's scheduled for a double mastectomy coming up in November. And I just want to thank, you know, the Swan in the Morning crew for, you know, educating me and the citizens on this subject. Wow. I appreciate it. Not, not, yeah, de thank definitely, you. man, yeah. definitely. Um, so she's having her breast removed. Does, when that happens, does it get rid of all the cancer? It, depending on yes, so there are um, a surgeon will look to see once the uh, once you're on the table will look to see where the cancer has spread they or, or in the in the breast tissue. Mm -hmm. They also generally remove some lymph nodes, so the lymph nodes can also be be checked for cancerous cells. So um, depending on what type of cancer, there may be radiation, there may be chemotherapy. So it really depends on the type of cancer. But generally, yes, surgical, the surgery will remove all of the, uh, the breast cancer. Okay, we have E on the line from Atlanta. Good morning, E. How are you? Good morning, big dog. How you doing today, man? Man, I can't complain. It's good to be breathing. That, hey, likewise, brother. Sisters, how y'all doing over there? Good morning. You're, good you're morning. a sister too, Linda. You gotta yeah. say. Oh, yes. good morning. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> w women, women in general, it doesn't matter. Uh, the, the, re the reason why I'm calling is because uh, me and my girl actually had this conversation last night. Um, her mom uh, has breast cancer. She just had both of her breasts removed, and uh, her dad used to smoke. Uh, I have an aunt that has breast cancer. My uncle used to smoke. Um, my mom 
used to smoke herself. My dad never smoked. She doesn't have breast cancer. So I'm just calling to find out if you guys have ever done any research uh, in reference to breast cancer and smoking men uh, having this type of link together. Well, smoking in women is a risk factor for breast cancer. I can't say for certain that secondhand smoke is a risk factor or if it's a risk factor for men, but for sure it is for women. And smoking in general, cigarettes, is just not a good idea. Okay. All right. All righty. No, no, no. Not necessarily smoke, secondhand smoke, but actually men, you know, enjoying their women's breasts and something transferring from my mouth to a woman's breast. Basically, what I'm well, basically, you blowing out weed smoke to, to her no, uh, nipple. I'm, I'm, I'm licking nipples. Sway. I uh, lick uh, nipples. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, and Linda. <laughs> not, not a risk factor. That's not a risk. You keep licking them those nipples, E. You, you're good. I all I right, <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Freaky, uh, e. we, <laughs> Freaky all right. Freaky Wait, before e. we before we um in, I just wanted to go uh just list out the four uh, self awareness messages. Know your risk. Get screened. Know what is normal for you, and make healthy life choices. And we'll put this up on Sway's Universe Great. and link it to Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Right, fantastic. Yes, and I just wanted to let everyone know, women, please, early detection is key. Breast cancer is not a death sentence. There's so much research and new developments Absolutely. that you can survive for this. And, you know, I, I want to just give kudos to all those breast cancer survivors and mm. your support Absolutely. system. Absolutely. And thank you once again, My Linda, pleasure. for coming. My pleasure. And how Stay can healthy, reach everyone. You? How can people reach you? Uh, ComanNYC.org. Very simple. Very good. K-O-M-E-N-N-Y-C.org. Linda, thank you for coming. Tell Thanks, your daughter Ray. we said hello, okay? Will do. All right. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.